Now, if you're in the UK or you've been watching us for the last few weeks on YouTube, then you'll know that it hasn't stopped raining. But it seems like that this week, there's a break in the weather. And although it still may be cold, we can get the vans packed and the tractor warmed up. And that is because... Let 2024 grass cutting begin. So here we have it. The moment we have been waiting for all winter. And we start off on our first site Monday morning at a school. We start getting all of the kit ready to do the maintenance. Ash and Rob start on the smaller areas. Ash is on the right, whipping around doing all of the small bits of grass, whilst Rob is literally running with the strimmer. Calm down, boy. Anyway, they can now start lapping the field for all of the bits that I can't get in the tractor. Okay, grass is all cut at this side of the school. Lads have done really well on the ride-ons and all the strimming. We're just getting the line marking done now. Now there's exams on the other side of this school, so we can't do them today. We've only just found that out. So we're gonna have to reschedule the other side of the school for later on in this week. But we'll get the line marking done here and then have a little ad hoc team meeting and see what the plan is going forward. So Ash starts cracking on with the line marking, but I'm now going to leave them because I've got a little bit of a journey to get back to the unit so we can meet back up for the next job. Okay, so we've reconvened at the unit. We've got both the mowers on the back of the range now, and it's time to go cut the first parish council of 2024. So once we get over to the first parish council of this year, we can get the mowers off, get all of the kit refueled, and start mowing the first grass on Parish Council of 2024. So as we're working through with the mowing, the strimming and tidying up, the hustler's doing all of the wider areas and the right's doing all of the smaller areas that the hustler can't get. God, it feels so good to be back out mowing. We're doing quite well considering how long the grass is and obviously we're having to go over it a couple of times. We're ahead of time, which is good. Uh, this is Rob's first time here, so we're spending quite a bit of time just showing him the areas that we do and don't do, but I'm sure once we get halfway around, it will all make sense. And we're getting on with it well now, working through it methodically. Some areas having to do twice, but we're turning it from this to this. Lovely. And with the park being the last area we have to mow, strim and blow, it signifies Parish 1 of 2024 done. How did it feel? Fantastic. Right, we're all loaded up back to the unit and we'll see you on Tuesday. We've got a slight drizzle in the air, but we can still commence grass cutting. We are at a parish council today. Been to the unit nice and early, had loads of admin jobs I need to sort out. And I've also released a new calculator, which is a sports pitch renovation calculator. Go over to cutcrewconsultancy.store to check that one out. But anyway, we're gonna get all of the kit off and we need to start this parish council. And as you know, if you followed us before, lots of mowing, strimming and blowing. And so with that, we get started with it. Again, same as yesterday, the hustler doing all of the wider areas as it's just way more efficient and so much quicker to do so. The right doing any edges and smaller bits and lots of strimming and blowing. Now it's that time of year when the daffodils are out, so we have to spend lots of time strimming and well, it upsets us quite a bit. Well, this was going well. So it seems that the hustlers chucked a belt and the blades won't engage. So I'm gonna run straight back to the truck to grab the toolkit and investigate it further. So we're getting the covers straight off and straight away I notice that the belt is twisted and it's come off of the pulley. So I get that back on and now we can start getting the covers back on. Covers are back on and we should be back in business. I'm gonna take the tools along with me just in case it happens again and we don't have to run back to the Ranger. Luckily with the Ranger, we've got a spare belt for the Hustler in it and in the van as well. Always be prepared. And if you're prepared, you can never fail. But anyway, yeah, one of them in it. Pit us a little bit behind, but I better go and catch up with the lads now. So I jump straight back onto the road to get back to the boys so I can commence the grass cutting. I don't believe that. I got that on camera as well. Slipped another belt. There's can't be something right with this. I'll have to strip it again. So we strip and refit yet again and I make sure those tensioners are mega tight this time and we're finally cutting. Happy days. 
Safe to say it's all fixed and cutting better than ever. It definitely needed attention so we can get this wide area all sorted and start cracking the village out. Please let me strip off. Now unfortunately for Ash, it would start World War 3 on Facebook if we stream the DAFs, but we do move through the parish mega quickly and efficiently, and the mowers are now back on the trailer. We're going to be heading to the next parish, it's just a mega small one that's basically connected to this one. So let's get over there. And when we get over there we rattle it out, this one's really small, it's basically just a ring road, and I done the strimmer and Ash was mowing. That's the uh, two little parishes now done. Uh, we've just got two quick commercial jobs to do. One's a block of flats and one's a church. So we'll get on with that. But Ash basically strimmed the whole of the first parish and I'm gonna wind him up. Let's, let's wind him up. You done, boy? Hold on. I don't know what you was moaning about. The strimming was easy. Oh yeah. Are you taking the <laughs> Get back to filming. <laughs> and with Ash fully triggered, we move on to the next commercial site, which is a block of flats. We do all the frontages, the car parks, the back and the sides. Right, we've just popped to the last one, which was the church. Mega quick, straightforward. There's only a small amount of grass. We're in and out of here, taking photos. Back to the unit, ready for tomorrow. Another parish council tomorrow, so we'll see you in the morning. So it's Wednesday morning, we've started nice and early and we are mowing the park with the Crest battery mower in absolute near silence. Absolutely lovely stuff. We've got a large amount of grass to cut here and it's very long. So we shall see how the Crest copes. So on max power and max walking speed, the Crest battery has now run out and we've managed to do this much of the park already. So we can get a fresh battery and get the old one out and we can continue. Now the Crest mower is mega easy to use. It's really light, mega quick and I'm impressed. But one thing I would say is not a striping mower at all. I've seen photos online, they must be using a stripe roll-on kit and I hope Crest brings one out. So the park is all cut. Now ideally we would have box cut this this morning but we left the bag and the mulch plug. So this isn't the best quality that the Crest can do. That is down to the team and us for getting it. But we've made it happen. We did have to just take some extra care and hand pick up any areas that needed picking up. So for full disclosure, this is probably around 1600 square meters and we've done a battery and a half. Now that wouldn't be too bad if we had the cyber tank because we could charge those batteries up in about eight minutes and be back at it. But if you don't buy the whole system, obviously that's a bit of an issue. We've already plowed through one and a half batteries. Now that was on max power and that was on the fastest speed to keep up with my long legs. But anyway, we're gonna have a quick catch up and then uh, crack on with the parish got a lot to do today and potentially line marking after the parish so we need to get on with it and that's exactly what we do and the grass is mega long we're having to go over everything twice but we're working as a team and getting through it same operating procedure as before the right doing all the small areas the hustler doing the wide areas and any areas it can get to and the strimming with ash following on the right with the blower as well Right, we're getting through it today. Today has been an absolute nightmare. The grass is so long here. The phone has been non-stop. Emails have been non-stop. So we're trying to juggle everything. Normally, we only send two people to this parish anyway, uh, but because it's so long and it's Rob's first time here, there's three of us on it. But yeah, today's just stressful for some reason. So we're gonna crack this out. Probably not gonna film a lot. We'll film little bits and we'll reconvene, shall we? Because yeah, this is crazy. Parish Council is done. We, uh, yeah, it was the longest it's ever taken us. I don't know if it's because the grass was long or I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, we're loading the van up now because me and Ash have got to go out line marking. Because of the weather recently, there's lots of fixtures that have been pushed back. So yeah, they need doing. But yeah, anyway. Let's get over to the line marking jobs. We're over at the line marking job. I've already marked two of them. Ash is on his second. We're taking it in turns, getting it done that rapido. I've worked out why I'm tired today and why it feels like the day is so long. So for a laugh, I've started clocking in just to see the hours that I do within the business. And as of this morning, I'd already done like 32 hours. And as we stand right now, I've, uh, I've done well over 40 and it's, only Wednesday. 
So that's why I'm tired. But Barocca is great. Anyway, we're gonna get this done. Now for the next few days, there's not gonna be a lot of content from Jack Cam, but there's gonna be loads from Ash Cam. So tomorrow morning, I am out in a tractor getting some bits and bobs prepped for Ash. There will be content on that. Then the afternoon is back-to-back -back quotes and meetings for me and Sorry to interrupt that spill, but this dog was absolutely harassing Ash and I had to get a video of it. Just kept running up and trying to bite him. <laughs> And on Friday, I'm going to meet a new company that is going to be supporting the channel. Um, and we're going to try and get some content out together. But that's going to be on health and safety and bits and bobs like that. But yeah, there's going to be some great health and safety advice coming up. Um, we've teamed up with one of the best people in the country to give free advice for all your HR and health and safety needs. So make sure you subscribe and check the content that we produce out with them. It's gonna be fantastic. But anyway, we'll get done here and uh, we will skip to tomorrow and show you what we get up to on Thursday. But luckily the weather is holding up. Yes, 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 yes. See you then. It is Thursday morning and I have just been out in the tractor to prep a parish council field ready for the lads tomorrow. The lads are going to be doing the parish council tomorrow, but I thought I'd get the field out of the way so it's one less thing for them to do. Now I've got some bad news. The Massey clutch has gone mega, mega light this morning to the point where at one point I couldn't get it into gear. So I'm hoping it's something silly like a master or a slave cylinder or maybe some oil top up and a bleed. I did manage to get the field done. I'm going to get this back to the unit now and have a good look over it and see if we can sort the problem. But in the meantime, this morning, the boys have been at a school conducting maintenance. So the lads didn't grab any content at the other side of the school, but they did all the maintenance there. And we're now at two standalone pitches that are attached to the school. We've not mowed this in ages because it's just too wet to get the tractor or a mower on it. But we can get the marking done. And here's the turf that we installed a couple of weeks ago, looking nice and healthy. And now the lads are over at Find and Volta to get three large 11s done and two internal blue pitches. Now they've done the white pitches, they can start cracking on with the blue and everything is all done looking fantastic. Now, unfortunately, they didn't get any footage from Primark. So now we have to move on to Friday. And the boys are starting off mowing two football pitches over in Milton Keynes. So with the Hustler raring to go, Ash starts mowing the pitches and once that's all done, they can think about getting them marked. There's just an 11v11 and a 7v7 here, so a nice and quick visit and it's looking fantastic. They're now over at a parish council getting the kit prepped and they can make a start working through the village to get all of the grass areas cut, strimmed and obviously tidied up as we go. It's quite a large village, but there's also a cemetery that needs doing and they're just going to work through this methodically to avoid any damage and make it look fantastic like it is. And they just keep going through the village bit by bit to get that done. But it is now Saturday and today we've got a job at one of our schools, so let's get down there and show you what it is. Okay, so we're on site. We've got this large swale here that's never been maintained. All of these reeds are meant to be kept to a certain height and they just haven't been. This area here wasn't included in the site plan on the contract that we have for this facility and it's an ad hoc job. So we've had to quote for it. We've won the work and now we're here. So obviously lots of risk assessments involved in this. We have checked the depth of it in there. It's not too deep. So I'm gonna be going in with waders and we're just gonna have banksmen ready with a flotation ring and a rope to pull me out if any anything bad happens but yeah first thing we're going to do is flail all of the surrounding areas and then we'll have to get in there with the hedge cutters and start making some noise so we're going to start off by flailing the surrounding areas and once we've done that i'm going to get myself in and make some access with the hedge cutter now i'm not doing this all the way to the ground because we want to leave a stem in order to not damage any wildlife that may be living in the pond we are pretty much there. I am absolutely dripping in sweat. Got the old PVC waders on and uh, I think there's more water in my trousers than there was in that swale. But anyway, just, uh, just a few more bits to tidy. We're going to be leaving the waste on site so if there is any wildlife in whatever we've cut down, at least it's uh, hopefully migrate on before we collect the waste next week. Uh, but yeah, just got a little bit of tidying to, to do. Before we leave, I'll grab some footage for you and show you what it looks like. 
So there we have it. This is the finished article. We've moved all of the waste pond side so we can collect that next week. And if there's any wildlife that needs to migrate to its habitat, it can do. But it was a nice and straightforward job. Not too dangerous. And it was good to be amongst the birds and the bees. So there we have it. We're pretty much done here. Just need to double check everything. Potentially another quick blow down and then we are done. Not too bad for a Saturday's work. This week cannot end soon enough. It's been one of them weeks for me. But anyway, there we have it. I'm probably gonna be out in the tractor tomorrow as well to get ahead of the work next week. But if I do, I will get some content. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, share it to someone else that may like it as well. Hit that subscribe button and comment below to let us know what day was your favourite day this week. See you on the next one.